Hello folks, welcome to this video and this one is a song of the week. For those of you not familiar with this content of my channel and stuff, which I usually do to get away from any kind of um, road sporty content for a day or so and talk about music. Um, something which I guess I've been quite passionate about my whole life, though that's also the same thing you don't want to say if you're trying to say that you've actually been passionate about music your whole life. So this is the 244th rendition, I believe. Um, Christ, getting close to 250 of these. Christ, getting close to having done five years of these. And this week's one's a bit interesting in the way that it's just that I've been listening to it a lot, but I do have stories behind my history with this song. Um, at the same time, it's also a bit interesting because this band seems to be constantly popping up in my feed, like spreading it out two weeks, three weeks, then four weeks between 2.32 and 2.44. It's Angel and Airwaves. And also, quite interestingly, it's the third of these four that have been from the same album. In fact, four of the last five have been from the Love album. Though also I'll point out the last two of them have been from the first part. Love part one. And this one is called Young London. It's an interesting one because it's quite for me it's quite an upbeat song um and i i feel like it's got two phases to it um it's got a kind of start phase and an end phase so and it switches um at the it switches with with the introduction of the suit up boys this right it's the weekend and it makes it more of a kind of feel good song and I just love the fact that it feeds straight off of um, Flight of Apollo. And another story I'll say behind it, and you can check it out in the description below um, the song, whilst I say this, is um, it's actually that song's the reason why I ended up being able to get, or end up getting a Tom DeLong um, signature Epiphone guitar. So, it was after a Eurovision Song Contest, so it must have been, I think, 2014. I think the guitar was still new to me when I started doing daily videos on here. And I was like, oh, I really want to get this guitar. And my mum turned to me and said, if, let's put... A measure for some kind of skills like I want to be able to play this and so I sat down with my Les Paul the, the one that I've seen so many different shots um, even if you're quite new to the channel you've only seen a couple of videos with my face um, it's actually still in the corner over there um, I sat down with that and I learned how to play the uh, hammer on and pull off bit at the start of Young London and I was like yes I can play that and I was like yeah order it Cool. And that's how you tell a story that means a lot to you in a very bad way. Thank you for watching. You've been far too kind by watching the whole thing. Thank you so much for continuing to support this channel. Um, I'm actually really enjoying some of the content I'm doing at the moment. Um, but the next week is going to be quite hectic. <laughs> tell that already we've got wrc and formula one content to plan out and i've still got tomorrow's video to do as well yeah honestly thank you so much for watching i hope to see you again soon so uh bye, -bye for now